How's it going, everybody? We're going to do kettlebells this evening. So the plan is we'll do a bit of a dynamic warm up. And then after that, apologies about the traffic, do a dynamic warm up. After that, then what we're going to get into is a full body kettlebell movement. Then we're going to do a lower body kettlebell movement, upper body, and then a core. Okay, so four exercises. So full body, lower, upper, core. That's one little cycle. We're going to do that three times. So we've got four exercises in block one, different four, and a different four. So 12 exercises in total. Let's see. Let's see how many we can get through. Let's see how long we've got. Okay, so we're going to start a little dynamic warm up, a little bit different to the usual warm up. So make sure you've got a bit of room around you. All right, arms out to the sides. Let's just do big circles. All right, all the way back, keeping the arms straight, movement coming from the shoulders. So when it comes to the kettlebell, if you've got more than one kettlebell, maybe have it handy, okay? If it's a different weight, all right? We're just gonna use a single kettlebell, but if you have ones that are different weights, maybe keep them handy, change direction, because some of the movements, you might want a heavier kettlebell, other movements you might want a lighter kettlebell. Otherwise, work with what you've got. So if you're ever repeating this workout, get yourself a little better organized, get a couple of heavier, a couple of lighter bells, kettlebells, give yourself a bit of a selection. All right, and straight across. All right, and straight up and down. Big swings. Okay, let's get ourselves into a squat position. So what we're going to do is a squat and then reach for the sky. So with the straight arms. So squat and reach. Squat, reach. Squat, reach. So exaggerate that squat. Get down a little deeper than what you usually would. One more in. Okay, so let's get into a bent over row position. So again, a little squat, push the hips back, bend the knees, arms straight out in front. So as if you're doing a double arm bent over row. Okay, so from the front, look something like this. Straight back and down, and then a fly, out wide and down. So straight back, feel that pinch between the shoulder blades, down, out wide. Okay, work your way through these. Keep your back as flat as possible. So from the side, something like this. All right, up you come. So let's reach for the sky. And we're gonna do a pull down and a knee raise there. Swap over, so change the leg. And relax, okay. So from here, arms out in front, we're just gonna do a rotational twist. Twist all the way around, looking behind you, keep the feet pointing straight ahead and the other side. All right, so get round as far as you can. Trying to keep those arms straight. So try not to let the hips go behind you. Try to keep the hips pointing straight ahead. You're twisting the upper body. Two more. And relax. All right. So a lot of. People are asking me since I put up the post about tonight's class, can you use dumbbells if you haven't got a kettlebell? Yes, you can. All right. You should be able to do just about every exercise there. Just watch yourself, okay, with the dumbbell. Okay, it's shaped slightly different to a kettlebell. The grip will be slightly different, so just watch yourself. But you should be able to get away with dumbbells if you have them. All right. So let's get into the first movement. So full body movement. 
We're going to do 10 reps of everything. So a single arm, kettlebell clean. All right, so just get a look at this from the side. What it's going to look like is almost like a kettlebell swing, but it's a kettlebell clean. So we're going to keep the wrist close to the shoulder at the top of the movement. So it's going to be a little swing to there. Back down, swing to there. So that's what you're looking for. Swing, keep the kettlebell nice and close. So that's what you want. So a swing, but then pull the kettlebell in close to your shoulder. So we're going to go 10 on the right, 10 on the left. So when you're ready, we're here, drop into your squat, almost like a kettlebell swing. Where we go. One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's change sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get straight into our next movement. So it's called the offset squat. So get yourself into that clean position again. We're here, we're just we're gonna do a squat. The 10 with the kettlebell resting to our right, then 10 with the kettlebell left, resting to our left. So squat, and there. What you don't wanna do is lean to the side that you're carrying the kettlebell. position, alright, go for your squat, breath in, breath out, so work in the lower body, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, alright, let's get straight in now to the upper body, so it's either going to be a single arm chest press, or if your kettlebell is too light, the single arm chest fly. So down onto your mat, down onto the floor. So the kettlebell's heavy enough. We're gonna do a chest press, come all the way down, stop just before your elbow touches the floor, and then press. You're looking for stability through the shoulder. If you find your kettlebell is too light, turn it into a fly position. Go out wide, don't let your body roll to the side, and back through. So you know, 10 presses with one hand, or 10 flies, whatever you want. Where you go. swap sides so again either your chest press or your fly if you're doing the fly keep that arm virtually straight just a slight bend in the elbow Last one. Okay, up you come, stay down onto the mat. Let's get into the core. So we're gonna go with the Russian twist. So either feet in the air or feet on the floor, little lean back. Keep reaching for the floor. Okay, some people have the habit of bouncing the kettlebell off the floor. Even as soon as that kettlebell touches the floor, you're on a holiday, even if it's for a split second. So get as close to the floor as you can, but try not to let the kettlebell touch, okay? As close as you can, don't let it touch. So either feet on the floor, feet elevated, let's go for 20. 10 left, 10 right, away we go. On your feet. That's the first mini cycle. So we're going to go now to the full body exercise. So it's either the kettlebell swing or the kettlebell high pull. So most people are familiar with the kettlebell swing. We're doing the single arm. All right, so kettlebell swing would look something like that. So we're going to have to shoulder height, but I want us to do the high pull. Okay, so it's going to be a swing, but at the top of the swing, you're going to go up to here, you're going to pull the kettlebell in, 
push it back out. So pull it in, push it back out. All right. So either if you're not comfortable with that, just do the kettlebell swing on one arm. Otherwise, let's go for that high pull. All right. So when you're ready, let's get ten on the one side, ten on the other. Over to the other side. Last one. Okay, let's get in to the lower body exercise. So, staggered deadlift. All right, so whichever leg goes in front. I'm going to swap hands. So I'm going to take my left leg in front, just slightly, just a slight stagger. Okay, my right foot is back, my right heel is in the air. Okay, so left foot forward, most of my weight is now on my left leg. Right foot back, I'm up on my toes, kettlebells in front, back nice and straight, and push my hips back. Okay, so straight leg deadlift, single arm, straight leg, staggered leg deadlift. Let's go, 10 of these, keep that back straight. Don't let your hips twist. Let's swap over. So feel in the air. Most of the weight now over your right foot. Don't let those hips twist. Get into the upper body, so we're gonna go for the bent over row. So into that squat position, and get as low as you can, but you want a nice flat back. You don't want to round it back, but a nice flat back. Get bent over as much as possible. So we're gonna do the bent over row. If you want, you can use a chair or something to support your other hand. Otherwise, keep yourself as still as possible, as stable as possible. No twisting through the hips or the back. Pulling to your hip. That's what you're after there. Let's do ten of these. Swap over. Okay, let's get into the core movement, again including the kettlebell. So into your plank position, but it's going to be an upright push-up style plank position. It's called the plank drag or the plank pull. We're going to be Lifting and placing the plank or the kettlebell behind our arm, picking it up, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down, but all from a push up position. If this is too much for you, just hold the plank for the duration that we're doing the exercise. So we're going to do 10 left, 10 right, so 20 in total, alternating right, left, right, left. So get yourself into a press up position. Okay, tuck the kettlebell in behind one of your arms. So what you're going to do is pick up the kettlebell, put it down behind the other arm, reach across, pick up the kettlebell. Put it down behind the other arm. So that's what we're after here. So either that or hold the plank position while we carry out this exercise. Right, 20 in total. Let's go. Come. All right, into the third little cycle. So we've got two, two cycles done. We're getting into the third one here. Right, squat thrusters. So let's get up into that clean position. We're here. We're going to squat and do an overhead shoulder thrust. So something like this. Squat and thrust. All right, so make sure you don't 
Top of forward, then too far forward. You always want to keep your chest up and open, all right? So 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. And your own time, set yourself up. Good deep squat, powerful overhead thrust. Let's swap over, bring you up into that clean position. Where you go. Down you come, all right. That's the full body. Let's go into the lower body. So take it back into that clean position. So going for the lower, we're going to go an offset, which is this position here, reverse lunge. So if the kettlebell's in your right hand, we're going to do a reverse lunge with the right leg. Ten on one side, we'll swap hands. We'll go to the left, so it'll be left leg. So for now, ten reverse lunges, kettlebell in your right hand, using the right leg ten times. Up tall. We'll swap over, take it into the clean position. So it's in your left hand, left leg back. Go now to the upper body. So go into the halo. So either holding it by the ears, kettlebell down, holding it by the ears, kettlebell up. So imagine your halo, all right? You might see this done before where the kettlebell drops down in front of your face. Let's keep it up. A halo's up always usually above your head. So that's what we want to do. We're going to go for 20, going clockwise, anti-clockwise. So it should look something like this. We're up here, so in behind the head and to the front, change directions, back to the front. Okay, so Round is one, round the other way is two. Let's go for 20. Work that halo. Ten. Kettlebell with you, you're onto your back. We're gonna do a leg extension, double leg, leg extension, double arm pull over. Okay, if that's too much, put the kettlebell down, just keep the arms up overhead, do the double leg extension. If that's too much, keep the arms overhead, do a single leg extension. Ten left, ten right, keep alternating. For everybody else, we're gonna do ten in total. So ten double leg, ten double arms. Just keep those arms straight. Should look something like this. Leg straight, arm straight. Pull back to the center, okay? Let's go for 10 of these. On your feet. That's the full thing. Let's go again. Now you know what's ahead of you. So if you've got a couple of kettlebells, maybe lighter or heavier, get them ready. Let's go, go through this again. So full body, lower, upper, core. Move on. Full, lower, upper, core. Third cycle, full, lower, upper, core. Let's do this. Starting with single arm, kettlebell clean. Gather up your kettlebell. So remember, 
Little swing, take it to a clean position. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. When you're ready, let's go. Swap over, take it to the clean. Let's keep it there. We're going to the offset squat. So keep it on one side, 10 squats, kettlebell on one side, 10 on the other. Set it up on the other side, into the clean. Down onto the mat, chest press or chest fly. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Swap over. Up you come, stay on the mat, into the Russian twist, 20 off, feet in the air, feet on the floor, it's up to you, as close to the floor as you can manage, two, three, it's on your feet, take your kettlebell with you, kettlebell swing, or kettlebell swing with a high pull, your call. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Looks like this, remember? Swing, pull, push. Swing, pull, push. That's what we're after. Let's get these 10 in. In your own time, let's go. Swap over. Staggered Romanian deadlift. So left foot forward. Right foot back, right heel elevated, so I'm up on my toes. So my left foot's forward, kettlebell's in my right hand. Okay, there. That's what you want. Let's get that hip hinged. Don't twist your hips. Swap over, catch those hamstrings, left foot back, left heel in the air.
bridge over road. Let's go into squat position. Down nice and deep, nice flat back, pulling to the hip. Swap over. Get to the plank pull. Remember into that press up position. Picking the kettlebell up. Putting it down behind your arm. Picking it up, putting it down behind the other arm. Either using the kettlebell or holding the plank. 20 off. on your feet. Let's get into the final little set, squat and thrust. So into that clean position, rack that kettlebell up there, squat and thrust. Ten on one side, ten on the other. Rack that kettlebell up into a clean position. Let's rack that kettlebell back up into the clean position. Let's go for the reverse lunge, work that lower body, so it's in your right hand, right leg's doing all the work for 10. Rack it on the other side. Left hand, left leg. The halo, working the shoulders, the upper back. Remember your halo, little crown on top of your head. 20 in total, let's go. Drop it in behind your head. Let's hit the core onto your back. Double leg extension, double overhead reach, or singles with the or without the kettlebell. Your call. Let's get stuck in. If you're doing the doubles, double arm, double leg, with the kettlebell, we'll do 10. If you're doing a, an alternative, go for 20. Alternate those legs. And relax.
That's us folks. Take a few seconds. We'll do a stretch down. So what you've done there now is 12 exercises. Full body exercise, lower body, upper body, and core. So you've managed to get core in three times by mixing it through the rest of the exercises. That took about 30 minutes. That's including the little dynamic warm-up we did. So if you're looking for a quick body weight kettlebell exercise, do this, feeding up to it, throw another set in, throw two more sets in. And remember, you can also make things more challenging or slightly easier by having a selection of kettlebells of different weights. Okay, have them lined up in front of you, bent over road, chest press, maybe you want something a little heavier. So on your feet, your arm up overhead, reach the back of your shirt, hand behind the elbow, stretch out those triceps. Swap over. There's a little audience in the garden here. Can I come over and say hello? <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry for getting your hoodie off. Say hello to everybody. Hello. There's Anna. <laughs> hello. There's Sean. <laughs> Hands behind your back. Shoulders back. Open up the chest. Take the hand back. If you need something against the wall, something that's not going to move, reach for the ankle, try to get the two knees beside each other, trying to hold that, that position. My strong core should help you with your balance. Always stand beside something so if you need it, you know it's there, but don't get into the habit of holding on to something the whole time. All right, we'll swap over. If you need it, it's there. the hamstrings. So do a single leg at a time. So take one leg out in front, keep that leg straight, little bend on the back knee, but take your chest forward towards that knee in front. So the leg that's in front should start to feel the stretch in that hamstring. Your chest towards your knee. Swap over, it's a little bend now in the back leg, chest towards that front knee, push your hips back. Don't twist the hips, keep the shoulders square, chest square. Start to feel it running from your glute down the back of your leg, the back of your knee. And up we come. Let's go for the calves. It's either on the ground or again. Holding on to something. Step back. Push your heel into the floor. Ease the hips forward. Maybe you want to feel this in your calf. A muscle in your lower leg at the back. Push that heel into the floor. Ease your hips forward. And we'll swap over. lunge, kneeling down, knees completely on the floor, foot in front of the knee, I want you to sink down into it, straighten up from the hip and reach. And relax, spin round, get that foot out in front. Your back. Let's stretch out that glute. So bring one knee up, reach anywhere below your knee, around your shin, pull that knee up and across your body. You want to get a stretch into that glute. 
It's like you're trying to hug your knee. And the other. Diamond press. It's a little diamond with your hands. Head into the diamond. Push through your arms. Leave your hips on the mat. Lower it down. Take it to child's pose. the hips where they are. Take both arms around to one side, head between your arms. And out to the other. And we're back to the center. Hips where they are, get the elbows onto the mat, walk the fingers forward. And relax. So hopefully that's you feeling good again, heart rate settled, fully stretched out, good to go tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like and share the hell out of this thing. Alright, let's get as many people involved. Thanks again for all your support. Look after yourselves, stay safe. I'll see you in the gym real soon. Good night.